How's it going star seekers? My name's Luke and welcome back once more to the channel. Now if you've been following the channel for a while, you'll no doubt have seen some of the asset flip warning videos that I've been putting out, several of which have been for games that publisher and so-called developer Pixarts have been releasing. Over the past year, these jokers have shot out a total of 41 games onto the Switch eShop and they're due to release several more games in the next couple of weeks and so I thought it was about time we took a deep dive into their back catalogue to see just how many asset flips these guys have dropped. Now to quickly clarify what an asset flip is, it's essentially the process of buying game assets or complete game templates that somebody else has created and then selling them on eShops as complete games without altering them in any meaningful way. Now there's actually nothing illegal about this, but in my mind it's incredibly immoral and damaging to the indie game community and gaming in general. Unsurprisingly though, Pixarts aren't the only asset flippers plaguing the Switch eShop and I'm currently working on a little something to highlight how big of a problem it's becoming. So make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're up for a bit of an eye opener, like and share this video to get the word out and let's get started. So Pixarts is the name of the development and publishing team headed up by a guy called Benoit Verassi a French dude who got into coding at a young age developing games for the Amstrad before finding some success after working on a game called Cool Croc Twins. Since then, Benoit has released several pieces of software under the Pixarts banner and this includes something called Sprite Basic, a really helpful looking game creation tool based on the programming language Basic, a HTML5 JavaScript game engine and a useful little web button designer which allows you to quickly create buttons for your websites. Now after looking into Pixarts and finding out about Benoit's skill sets and all of the work he's done, I'm really just struggling to understand how someone can go from what appears to be a very respectable developer to releasing a torrent of asset flips not only on the Switch eShop but also on the Apple and Android app stores, the Microsoft store and Steam. The only thing that I can assume is that he's lost his passion for development and like many other developers, has seen there's very little work involved in making a bit of cash from flipping assets. So like I said earlier, Pixarts currently have 41 games on the Switch eShop and I've spent an extensive amount of time looking into each of them to try and identify what assets we used to create them. Now for a few of them I wasn't able to find anything that matched them and for several of them I did find something that looked like it matched but couldn't confirm it. And so the following is a list comprised of all of the games that I was able to find positive matches of the asset used to create them and from what I could tell have received little to no changes made from the base assets. So let's have a lightning fast rundown of all of Pixar's asset flips available right now on the Switch eShop and let's see if you can keep up. So first up we have Sweet Sugar Candy, which is an asset flip of Match 3 Sweet Sugar. An interesting fact about this flip though is that it already exists on the eShop under the name Sweet Swap by our other main man, Benjamin Kistler. Next up we have a game called Ninja Buddy Epic Quest, whose complete uni game asset can be found on Code Canyon under the title Super Ninja Run Hell Escape. Pixar's recently released Canon Army is a flip of a Unity asset simply titled Third Person Shooter. Next we have League of Champions Soccer created using the Soccer Players and Stadiums pack. Olympic Basketball is our next asset flip created by combining the Unity asset Basketball Project with some random low poly stadium. Then we have Caesar Empire War, which uses the city building kit combined with a medieval sprite kit that I was actually unable to locate. Pixar's Zombie Raid is a simple top down shooter, created using the Zombie Raid top down shooter asset. Bounce Mania is a flip of Super Bounce, a game template available on the website Sell My App. Archery Blast is a game that I've already covered with an asset flip warning video and it uses the Archery Blast asset from the Unity Asset Store. Park Inc is another asset flip which uses a game template of the same name. Candy Match Kiddies is another Match 3 game created using the Candy Match 3 kit 
and the asset actually says it has 50 levels included, but PixArts Games says it includes 100 levels, though I would be surprised if they've actually made more levels themselves. Next up is Checkers Master, a flip which uses the Checkers game template, and it's actually the second game which has already been released on the eShop under the title Classic Checkers by Peter Skalski. Sudoku Master is a simple Sudoku game which uses the Sudoku Classic puzzle game asset. PixArt's Fly the Bird is created using the Skyflight full game template and Golf Royale uses another complete game template of the same name. Ace Strike is a bit of a strange one, as it appears to use an old version of the Gunship Battle Helicopter 3D Battle asset, and the only place that I could actually locate this asset was on a dodgy asset store called Unifreaks. Next we have Bubble Bubble Ocean, a bubble pop game similar to Buster Move which uses the Aqua Pop Bubble Shooter asset. Urban Street Fighting is another game that I covered on the channel which uses the Universal Fighting Game Engine with a couple of random character models and a 3D industrial environment for its arena. Jumping Stackball is created using the Stackball game template from the Unity Asset Store. Gorilla Big Adventure is another game which uses a complete game project called Gorilla Jump 2D. Space Aliens Invaders uses the Binary Void complete PC and mobile game template. And Arkanoid Breakout uses another game template called Breakout Pro. Pixar's Grand Prix Racing is a game which uses the racetrack generator asset which can create racetracks with a single click of a button combined with a 3D race car pack, both of which can be found on the Unity Asset Store. Our final asset flip on this list is Top Gun Air Combat which uses the Air Warfare game template and is the third and final game on our list to have also been released under another title on the eShop that being Dogfight by Sabek. So as you can see, I was able to locate assets for over half of PixArt's games, and a couple of others such as Grand Slam Tennis and Olympic Boxing did contain assets, though I couldn't locate much for them. Now from what I've noticed, when it comes to PixArt's titles, anything that looks even remotely decent is likely to be an asset flip, and when you take a look at the games which don't appear to be asset flips, I think it's safe to say that they all look like absolute abortions. You have a copy and paste trio of gallery style shooters with clay skeet shooting, zombie apocalypse, and America wild hunting, a bunch of physics based games where you roll or throw shit into other shit, several atrocious sports games featuring the same stadium asset, and then whatever the fuck this thing is. So the head honcho behind PixArts clearly had a decent amount of talent, but for whatever reason this appears to have been squandered, and the quality of these so called games that the company are churning out are severely lacking to say the least. What you may be surprised to hear though is that PixArts aren't the only publisher flooding the eShop with a huge amount of asset flips, and the upcoming video that I mentioned previously will be highlighting every single one of these companies. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and learned at least a little about PixArts and their contributions to the Switch eShop. If you did, make sure to hit that like button to show your appreciation, and I really do encourage you to share this video wherever you can to get the word out. As always, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be notified of future asset flip videos and reviews of real Nintendo Switch games which I upload every few days. For now though, I just want to thank you all once again for watching, and until next time, take care of yourselves, and game on.